excited to announce that Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley Yee-hoo. join us now in the flesh. Hello. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming in, guys. What a great it's day. A, oh, yeah. The sun is together. out. The fans are here. Look National at that. holiday, too, yeah? Yeah, and exactly. They, these fans have been here, I'm not kidding you, since 4 o'clock this morning waiting for you guys to arrive. Well, hopefully. You get it all over the world, don't you, Paul? Yeah, but this is spectacular because you've got the grand final and everybody is so, so, you know, fired up with this. And um, mm-hmm. you've got the two greatest teams. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's no loser. I mean, obviously, one team is going to come out on top. But here's yeah. a situation where you have two winners. So mm-hmm. it's uh, this whole, whole See, thing is so exciting, especially for guys from the U.S. I know. I love the fact that you're so up on your foot at footy. Before we start, we have some gifts because yes. we spoke just a few weeks ago. Yes. And I know when we talked, you mentioned that you were a little bit of a fan of Penfold's wine. Oh my I'm just God. reaching so under the desk he's here. just he's not leaning into your lap. He's actually getting a gift for you. With there's oh my God. Penfold's. Shiraz there for you. And hang on one second. I think there's another one down here too. Hang on. You know, hang on. You know when it comes in a box. Yeah, there you go. It is very oh my good. God. This That's has been one. 111 a Yes. This is probably the greatest red on earth. Um, doesn't matter, you know, you can talk about France, you can talk about Chile, you can talk about all different countries. This by far, 111 a is just breathtaking. And uh, you know, God bless a country that can turn out a Shiraz. You can't make a bad one. <laughs> and so you this, know you want. This is the best. That's for you to take home with you, Paul. Thank you so much. You know for being what with South us. Australia also knows? Oh, um, they know their chocolates because I think you're a bit of a chocolate man. Oh, Dude. give me that. <laughs> Hates chocolates for you. There you go. You can start on those before the show. Uh, this is not good for my girlish figure, I'll oh. tell you that. The, the Hague's frogs are like one of the most famous things in that chocolate one, in Australia. I love chocolate. There you go. Um, Jean, let's talk about this concert tomorrow. Paul just said there's no losers, absolutely no losers at the MCG, uh, whether it comes to the footy or not, because you guys are performing. What can we expect? Well, we're going to blow the roof off of everything. We went through the uh, show yesterday just to make sure everything is perfection for the fans. There are going to be 100,000 crazed Aussies lining everywhere. There's not another ticket available, we're told. And I'll tell you what, back at the hotel before we came to the... Uh, to the you know the big stadium we were just asking people who they're you know who they're cheering for and the passion you know magpie yeah. fans and go, yeah, yeah. you know, they're just in your face well it, it, it maybe it's not maybe it's the line no what are you talking about and, you know, then they start arguing with each other and there's all these variables you know people go well dan mcstay's not in so what what's happening and, you know this is an education for us yeah. because coming from the states um Footy isn't really that well known, and it should be because it really is gladiator sport. When you see the physicality of everybody and, and the talent, it's just mind boggling. Oh, no padding here. This is, our, like this American is our Super Bowl footy. without the pads. Yeah, yeah right. I mean, th- that's what's amazing is there's no armor. You just have, <laughs> exactly. you know, you have flesh to flesh, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's astounding. So for us to be a part of it, we thought we were done in Australia. And uh, to be able to come back one more time is humbling for us because this really feels like a second home for us. Oh, well, that's so nice to hear. Of course, it's the final curtain, uh, your final concerts, your final tour, but you're also supporting our veterans. Tell us about that. Well, it's, it's dear to us, especially in the States, and we know here, you know, freedom is only free for the people who don't have to pay for it. And when you have people who volunteer to go and go into harm's way to protect us and uh, our independence and our freedom, and those people come back and get a raw deal, it's absolutely abhorrent, Mm, it's a sin. Absolutely. And if we can in some way uh, showcase and bring attention to those people, those people need us, and it's up to us to protect the people who protected us. Oh, that's lovely, it really is. And you you spoke about coming to Australia, enjoying your time here. Uh, We love you here, we very much do. Um, Your first tour in 1980, I've just got to, I'm gonna pull this out, because one of our makeup artists, uh, Donna, at our at our studio in Sydney, asked me to bring this down. This is an original record cover of Dynasty, 1979. It came out right. Um, she would love you guys to sign it. As you do, just take us through that Kisteria when you first came to Australia in 1980. Well, 
lady. What was well, it like? It, you know, you, Australia just wasn't in the mindset outside. You know, there was so much going on here. When we first landed here, we found out we were playing two days at the stadium in Melbourne, two days at the stadium in Sydney before bands were playing stadiums. We were just over the top. The Lord Mayor at Sydney invited us to be at City Hall, and it was like biblical locust. People as far out as you could imagine going everywhere. And so we were stuck at the Siebel Townhouse, a hotel <laughs> oh, that used to be at the top floor. What was it coined? What the the event of us being here was Kiss called? Kissmania. Kisteria. Kisteria. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We literally couldn't leave the hotel. Yeah. And uh, it was like being in a Beatle movie. It was, <laughs> it was, and we were uh, walking around. Once we left, they put on Ned Kelly it. helmets yeah. on and. You know, and all this stuff. But, thank you, know, you. So, guys, yeah. I'm going to get you to sign this first, Gene. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Now, wherever you go, Kiss fans follow, right? And they've come out to see you this morning. Barrett, you're with a couple. Yeah, look, Katie and I aren't about here. Um, Gene and Paul, you would love it down here. Everywhere you look, there is Kiss face paint. There are outfits. <laughs> there are hats. People are down here just love it. Girls, tell us about your outfits today. Where have you come from first? We're from Melbourne here. Yes. yes. So all three of us are from Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. And you're massive Kiss fans, obviously. Of course, yeah. Um, for Halloween, we made our costumes by hand. Oh my and, God. Yeah, we Pulled just them out again <laughs> for today. So these guys are local yes. here. <laughs> so you've made all of this? Yes. yes. Fantastic. Geez, I wonder what Gene and Paul would think of this. I reckon they might be interested. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Guys, the good news is, on behalf of Gene and Paul and all of the Kiss team, uh, we have tickets for you to go to the Kiss concert. <laughs> you to cry. Maybe, maybe you stepped on her foot. No. <laughs> Gee, what does that mean? Look, they've come, they've dressed oh, up, they've spent hours I mean, having their makeup done, and look, they've just got free tickets to your we, concert. We've been doing it for so long, and every time we think it's all about the stage and the glory and all that, when you see a fan just take it to heart and emotionally <laughs> connect, it just, you know, it, it affects us on stage when we see the fans crying, uh, you know, in the audience, because it's going to be our very last time in Australia at Sydney Stadium yeah. in a few days. You know, we have to turn our faces because you get lumps in your throat. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's, it's phenomenal. Right. It really is. And, and across generations, I mean, mm. these kids coming out to watch you, just phenomenal. Uh, Jean, Paul, it is yes. fantastic because you're going to stay with us, aren't you? Yep. Kiss, the final curtain is on Saturday, the 7th of October at the Core Stadium. Sydney tickets are are available right now at Ticketek. You can find more info about the support our veterans appeal. That's at sunrise.com.au.